So, I've been reading this subreddit for about a month now, and I figured that I may as well post the scariest encounter of my life here. So my house is one of the biggest chunks of property in the tri-state area, about 108 acres, and was originally kind of a park, but wasn't really supposed to be used as a park. Unfortunately, people from all over didn't get the memo that we had moved in, and therefore continued to party, hunt, fish, whenever they really felt like it. Over the years, these problems began to go away, but uh, that's except for a couple. Before we talk about the perpetrators, or at least the leader, we should discuss what was behind the property. An asylum. Mostly housing psychopaths, schizophrenics, and those who have suffered mental breaks. It isn't rare to hear random screaming for no reason coming from over there. There were four men who kept coming back and hunting in the middle of the night. We let some people hunt in the night on Saturday nights, but for the most part, hunting was off limits. We were never able to catch these four middle-aged men who always wore masks. I mentioned that because the leader always wore a creative mask, an especially frightening one. Most of the time, he wore a pig mask. These men were sneaky. They were smart. And that's what made them so scary. I had three encounters with them. The first being in June of last year. A few friends and I had decided to go on an adventure throughout the woods, and we discovered something pretty frightening. We found a fortress covered in beer cans with a chair at the top of it. Being the teenagers we are, we decided the smart thing to do was to destroy all of the hunter's hard work by kicking the entire fortress down. Boy, had we fucked up. We later returned to that fortress to check up on it. That's... That's when things got scary. It was rebuilt. Almost as a shrine to the last one. And spray painted on the ground was... Try again. We dare you. Encounter 2 happened during a simple walk at night. Sometimes when I get upset, I like to take walks throughout the woods. I was out there, and it just so happened our favorite hunters were out hunting that night. I was walking along, minding my own business, when I see the man in the pig mask, and he sees me. He now knows my face. I hear a deep laugh, and he turns his gun towards me. I have no idea what he was planning, but I booked it out of there ASAP. I didn't want to figure that out. Encounter 3, in my opinion, is the most blood-curdling. It occurred only about a week ago, and I was walking home from my cousin's house in the dark. I had my flashlight shining, and I felt safe for once. But something was off. The barn lights were on. The barn lights are never on. No one ever goes in there. The floors are falling through. I simply brushed it off as a technical error, but then in the middle of the field I saw the man in pig mask. He and he, uh, he saw me. His words have haunted my dreams since he yelled them at me. You, get the fuck out of here before I make you. The way he said it still frightens me. It was so angry, so vicious, so dead set on revenge. 
I haven't been in the woods since then. It was later discovered that in that barn, they had been setting up shop from time to time. So, in conclusion, I just want to personally give a shout out to my friend in the pig mask. Let's never meet again. Especially not in my own fucking woods. <laughs>